Hi, this is Mrs. Knopf, and today we are going to continue working in our method book on the clarinet with line 29, rest stop. So we have something new. We've had rests before, but this is the first line in this book where we encounter quarter rests. And the quarter rests are these funny looking squiggly lines um, that are sprinkled throughout the line. And we're going to talk about those and how those work. So if we go at the beginning, we have our treble clef as always. We are in 4-4 four, four time. The top number tells us how many beats are in every measure. The bottom number tells us the value of the whole note. Even if we don't have a whole note, we can still use that information to figure out the value of everything else. So if the whole is worth four and half of a whole is a half, half of four is two. So we end with a half note that gets two full beats. And then half of a half is a quarter, half of two is one. So everything else is either a quarter note or a quarter rest that gets one beat. So we're familiar with our quarter notes. Those are the notes that have the stem and they're colored in black. But then these squiggly lines, which when I'm teaching my kids how to draw these, I tell them it's like a lightning bolt Z with a C hanging from the bottom. And this is the silent equivalent of the quarter note. It's one beat of rest or one beat of silence. So we have to be careful when we're counting those and not give them too much time or too little time. So let's go through and see what we have. So we start on a quarter note E, which is thumb and one. That's beat one. Then beat two, we are resting. That's a great place to breathe when you need to. Then on beat three, we have a D, that's a quarter note. Then another rest. In measure two, we have E, D, C, rest on beat four. Measure three, we have a quarter note F, just the thumb, two quarter rests back to back, so that's beats two and three, and then beat four is a quarter note E. Then in measure four, we have a quarter rest on beat one, play a G on beat two, F on beat three, and an E on beat four. On the next line, we start with a quarter rest, then beat two is a quarter note F, beat three is an E, rest on beat four, and then we play a little arpeggio. So we have a C on beat one, thumb, one, two, three, skip to an E on beat two, skip to a G on beat three, then we rest on beat four, rest on beat one in the next measure, and now we're gonna work stepwise. So we have open G on beat two, F on beat three, E on beat four, and then we end with a quarter note D, quarter note G, and a half note C. So just make sure when you are resting that you're still counting, and I tell my kids to pretend that it's a note that just doesn't get played. All right, so let's go through 29 rest stop. I'm gonna adjust my camera. Also, start each note that you play with that t sound and let the air carry through the beat. Here we go. One, two, ready. And that's it for 29. So as long as you are paying attention to where you are in the music and you're counting in your head and you're thinking about, is this going to be a note or a rest? Um, that should be helpful. I hope you're able to keep up and I wish you the best of luck. We'll see you next time.